at Six Way Eight uh, One. Um, I'm going to be doing a review of the Low C uh, Eight here, um, electric conversion. Uh, got this video requested. Uh, just finally made it today. So uh, basically, I'm just going to do a review of what I think of it and how it runs, how it handles, and stuff like that, and what I compare it to. Um, so basically. Uh, I'm running a 4S LiPo with the Mambo Monster system. The system runs great in this setup. A lot of people race with the system. Um, the stock tires, they aren't the greatest. Uh, they'll run out of um, tread in a while, but one thing is, is if you get brushless, uh, your foams are actually going to split apart inside your wheels and tires. Um, here's my other low C8 here and I put these tires on the electric 8 for one run and uh, I think it's this tire here, yeah the tire, actually, the foam inside actually split right apart so now it's all unbalanced and there's no foam there so it's going to piss off on that but um, other than that, I mean, that's just what you're going to get with like a lot of power um, I definitely recommend only running a 4S, 6S is like way too much power uh, for the track and stuff, but this is perfect amount of power for us. Kicks it up a lot. Um, I run 7,000 weight diff oil, uh, center diff oil, and in the rear 5,000, in the front 5,000 as well. Uh, I figured that handles the best. Um, and definitely recommend getting the aluminum chassis brace here just to support everything uh, from the front and the rear. Uh, other than that, it's pretty good stock. Uh, all this stuff set up here, the shocks and everything, I wouldn't upgrade those very much. But um, yeah, I just recommend putting like washers into like to where the uh, hub carriers are and stuff, and the spindles, just so it doesn't have so much wobble to it. Um, so and it still goes freely and stuff. Um, but the electric conversion kit's only sixty bucks. I think it's only sixty bucks. I'm not sure. I have to double check on that, but. Uh, this handles great. I mean, I took it out to the track and I actually won a couple of races with it. I uh, won a GoPro Hero camera with this, um, so that works pretty good. And I uh, just raced a couple, b bunch of other guys and stuff, and we bet on that. So everyone put money in, and this guy didn't have any money, so we kind of just threw in a GoPro, and he just bought a new one, so he didn't really lose out on much. But um, yeah, I re recommend running. I actually drilled. Uh, what I recommend is actually drilling a bigger hole in the piston, one bigger hole uh, in the rear, in the back, uh, in the front shocks, um, just because it's pretty stiff out of the box and you want to have that free momentum and you can't really get that unless you go with really thin shock oil, but I find if you tune it and fine tune it, drill a couple holes in the uh, bigger holes in the shock pistons, I found that works out good. Um, but although the one thing that you got to really watch out is actually the pinning gear on this, uh, the spur gear is fine, but the pinion gear will wear out really fast and strip out even if you get the steel ones and stuff because there's so much power and it's metal on metal gears. So it'll tend to do that, uh, it'll tend to wear them out, so that's why I bought a couple and stuff. They're only like five bucks, so it's no big deal. Um, the pinion gear will last about like, um, let's see, like maybe 15 runs or something like that with a 4S LiPo just constantly pinning it and stuff so it's not too bad um, but uh, you can get hardened ones and stuff so it's no big deal about that um, but uh, yeah if you're gonna get this you gotta have good servos in it too because it takes a lot of weight and stuff like that to steer it in high torque um, you get the metal or aluminum steering horn um, and uh, I definitely also recommend getting the thicker sway bars and also uh, Loctiting everything here as you can see I lost a screw already there uh, Loctite everything up um, it Just everything will stay completely together then but uh, If you run the two I'm running a 2200 kV brushless motor with the castle Mambo monster and 4s like I said 14.8 uh, volt um, 5,000 milliamp hour. That setup is perfect. It gives you tons of power and tons of wheelies and everything else that you'd want in a buggy or a uh, truggy. Um, so yeah, just uh, look for that kind of stuff. It's about 350 bucks for the motor and ESC itself. 40 or 50 bucks for the battery. Um, 50 bucks for this battery here, and uh, that's just about it. And then the kit itself, uh, the. Uh, electric conversion kit itself is like 60 bucks so it's 
They're pretty expensive. It's like 500 bucks to change over, but uh, it's well worth it for sure. And you get the nitro stuff to sell to somebody else at the track or whatever to have you rip out those. Um, but uh, definitely what I found here as well is watch out for these uh, uh, ball carriers here, uh, hubs, just because uh, they'll start to get loose after a bit and just keep an eye out for those, same with the steering. Um, but uh, yeah, other than that, uh, that's it for this review. Um, it's, sorry, it's kind of short. But uh, that's the best I could do for now. Um, I mean, I haven't ran it enough to give you a full review, so for that, I'll uh, talk to you guys later, and peace out.